Whether you have a project car that's been sitting in a backyard or been sitting in a barn for years, or if you've just bought a car from an estate or, you know, some other situation where the car has not driven for years, you know, there's some certain steps you should take to make sure, you know, when you actually bring this car back to life, that you don't actually cause any damage along the way. And, and you know, the, the worst thing you can do is just throw a new battery in a car that's been sitting in a barn for 20 years and then pump a bunch of gas in or gas into it thinking, you know, you're doing a good thing to it because, you know, there's a lot of things that have gone on. As I always say, you know, uh, more can go wrong with a car sitting still than when you're driving it regularly. And, you know, that's kind of the case with our project here today. You know, we've got a, a 1931 DeSoto. I bought this car uh, nearly 40 years ago and uh, restored it right away. It took me six months and it, it wasn't really a big ground up kind of restoration. It was a clean original car. You know, the original lacquer paint was falling off and all that. So we I repainted the car, put on new tires, you know, put in new battery and stuff like that, but in got it running and we drove this car like mad for like four or five years. And then it started, we got, you know, we started getting other cars and, and uh, the car got driven less and less. And then finally, about 30 years ago, we parked it in the shed. And, you know, the intention wasn't that we were parking it for long-term storage at that point. It was just that, you know, we had other cars going, we did it, just didn't get brought out. It was starting to have a few problems, you know, it was smoking a little bit and we knew that, you know, the engine was getting a little tired, but you know, so it, it ended up sitting in it. And when it sat, you know, it got easily to, easy to ignore it. And then the next thing you know, it's used for storage stuff, extra stuff in the shop. We just gotta throw it inside or on top of it. And, and uh, so it started to get a little abused. You know, it's, of course, you can see it's got plenty of dust on it. It's been sitting in the shop for a long time, sitting in the back shop. And um, one of the things we thought of, you know, what we need to do is, is show guys what to do to bring this car back to life. And the rule number one should be is do no harm. You don't want to, you know, do any damage to anything else as you bring this car back to life. But you do want to make sure when you do get it running that, you know, nothing, uh, you know, you don't have any electrical issues or fuel issues or cooling issues that are going to cause like, you know, catastrophic damage to the whole system. So with that, let's, you know, we'll begin by, you know, assessing some of the things with the car, you know, some areas where we know we're going to have to do some work. The, it had fuel in the tank that hasn't, you know, been changed, even though we did stabilize it. It hasn't been changed in 30 years. We have antifreeze, even though here in Minnesota, all we always keep the antifreeze, you know, close to 50, 50 is good to 50 below or whatever. But there's still a lot of little things throughout the whole car that we need to look at and address before we even start to fire it up.